so in this video, we are going to practice making an account in Active. Now I have the exercise over here on the right hand side, and this is an exercise that is part of the Basic Level Pro Advisor certification course. If you would like more information about it, there is a link on the um, in the description below. Feel free to click that. But let's dive right in and see what our scenario is today. You are doing some cleanup work for Craig and notice that he has two accounts called equipment rental, one of which is a sub account of job expenses. You run some reports and you see that the second one is not being used. So you decide to make the second one inactive in order to save some space. So how do you go about doing this? Let's find out. You will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. Now, if you're not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up here on the left hand side. This is the dashboard. So let's get started with the exercise. First, we need to start in the chart of accounts. So to get there from the left navigation bar, we're gonna hover over transactions and then click on chart of accounts. That is over here on the left-hand side, hover over transactions and then select chart of accounts. Now you can scroll down or you can use the search bar to find equipment rental, the equipment rental sub account found underneath job expenses. So uh, I can either do this um, click or I'm sorry, click into the search bar and do a search for it, or you can scroll down until you find the account. Now this would be an expense account. You see here are the type, um, these are income accounts. Now we've moved into the expense account. This is the one that we want. It is kind of indented over a little bit under job expenses. This is the sub account that we want, not this one. This is like a primary, like main account. Um, and you can tell because it is not um, tabbed over. There's not a space here in between um, showing that it is a sub account of anything. But this is the one that we want. This is the one we want to make inactive. So we're going to click on the down arrow next to run report on that line right here. And then we're going to select make inactive reduces usage. Now you will get a pop-up warning from QBO asking if you definitely wanna make this inactive. And for the purposes of this exercise, we do. So go ahead and click on that yes, make inactive. Now, this is a very important note. This exercise is for demonstration purpose only. You want to consult with your business owner before you make any accounts inactive. So uh, just a quick note there, just don't go through and start making things inactive. You always wanna consult with your clients to make sure that they are okay with that. Now to see the inactive accounts in the chart of accounts list right here, all we need to do is edit the settings. So we're going to click on the gear icon above the grid and then click on the checkbox next to include inactive. So uh, before I do that, you will see now that the account that we did have for the uh, equipment rental is no longer showing here that sub account, it is inactive. But to see it again, what we wanna do is go back to the top and click on that gear icon right there. You see that there is under this other section, there is this include inactive. If you click on that box right there and then close out of this, you will see if we scroll back down to that area, you will see now that it is showing. And the way you can tell that it has been inactive is because it says deleted right here. So you know it is an inactive account. If you wanted to reactivate the account, you can use the same steps above. Um, you can click on this make active right here and it will automatically show back up for you as an active account. And that's how you would make an account inactive. If you liked this exercise and you want to know Know more or you want to do more like this or know more about the basic level uh, pro advisor certification course be sure to click on the link below in the description and that is it for us today i will see you in the next exercise